So this is it, um, with the sort of, it's the 1st of December, uh, winter has well and truly just suddenly hit, and the benefit of that is the intensity of the colours that we get with that low winter sun, so we're going to try and capture that, and this is the place to do it. So the perfect thing about this spot is that we've got the contrast of the light on the trees, which is going to give me a good focal point. Uh, everything changes and gets warmer as it goes higher and the sun catches it. Uh, it's, just, it's just perfect. It's got depth. I love it. That's all I need now for the detail. I can move on to my fatter brush now and start getting a thin coat of paint. Uh, it's oils, so we go thin to thick. Do I paint the sky in first? No. I'm going to paint that tree in. So when I'm painting trees, I try and think about it as one whole object, not uh, loads of little branches. So I just paint it as if it was a big sphere or whatever shape it is for a pine tree. I guess it'd be like a cylinder. And then afterwards, um, we can add the detail or the windows, they call them, through there. And it just makes it easier for me. I really, really like it so far. We've just got the bare bones, but I'm really enjoying it. It's just getting this intense color in now. And I think James is gonna go for a coffee run. If I get too cold, I won't be able to feel the 
paintbrush in my hand, which will be a problem. So, the foreground, I'm not happy with it. I mean, I've just rubbed it off with the towel. Um, I'm just trying different ways to find out how to get it to look right. I know that there's certain colors I can add to bring stuff forward, like reds, um, but it's a massive challenge there. So I, I'll just have to see how I get on with it. Um, and for some reason, the paint doesn't seem to be going on smoothly. Maybe I've done too many spirits. But it's all a learning curve. I just, I feel like it, it, it's not, this paint isn't spreading like it should. So I'm having to keep trying to wipe it off and then, and like the, when I wipe it off, the thing's still shiny. Someone in the comments will know what is going on and how I can avoid it, I think. But at the minute, it's doing my head in. Uh... Right, I'm just going to go massive and bold with it. And then at least it looks confident and intentional. So it's time to finish this off just with a little bit of finer detail in the backgrounds to tie everything in and make it all look intentional. So the gloves are off because I need the dexterity. Let's do it.
think we're done for the day. Uh, as opposed to last time when we used gouache or gouache, um, I've got higher intensity of colors, the saturation's high, which is great. Um, I do like the trees, but something that I really want to work on now is my brush technique. So for the next few videos, I'm really, really going to go hard on trying to kind of work on my technique, find out from other artists. But um, I hope you've enjoyed it. It's a, a lovely wintry day and I, I think we've captured it. So I'll see you next time.